Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do the tutorial for the scarf I've been talking about in the last two knitting tutorials I've done. So if you want to just work up two separate stitches all by themselves, that's perfectly okay. The tutorials are out for those already, and they were done over the past two weeks. This is a scarf that I put together by using those stitches. Now the yarn I'm using today is a little harder to find. I have seen it on Etsy. I've seen it in a couple of other places like Ravelry. However, the Everyday brand has lots of other choices in a DK weight. I'm pretty sure I have not seen the Premier Baby anymore on their website. Don't take my word for that. You might have to go check that out yourself. But if you do so, you can click on the link down below. It's just an affiliate link. And all that means is it gives me a few cents if you click on the link and buy anything through going through that link. It tells them that I sent you their way. You won't get charged anymore. All right, so for this scarf that I designed using those two stitches, it's very, very simple, a repetitive 16 rows. And the yarn, like I said, is Everyday Baby. It's 100% anti-pilling acrylic. It is a DK weight. Now, if you're gonna make this with a DK, that's great. If you're going to make it with a lace weight, remember it is going to be a little smaller, fingering, things like that. It will be a little bit smaller than this. And you will have to do more repeats to get the length that you want. Now, for me personally, this here is a beautiful width, as well as if you go 70 inches to 80 inches in length, you only have to do 18 repeats of those 16 repeating rows. All right, so this is an easy cast on of 45 stitches. Go ahead and grab your DK weight yarn of choice and cast on 45 stitches. When you're casting on 45 stitches, you're gonna mark with a stitch marker after the first 11 stitches. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Then you're gonna work two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 23 cast on stitches. Place another stitch marker and work the remaining 11 cast on stitches. Those two stitch markers there will indicate when you are beginning the center portion from the outside portion, which is the zigzag. All right. Once you have cast on 45 stitches and added your stitch marker in those two places, you're simply going to knit all stitches for two rows. What that's going to do is give you just a little bit of a starting point, a little bit of a garter stitch, just to keep everything nice and neat. It does point down on the sides because of the way that those stitches are and your increases and decreases. So we have this little drop down on both sides of your scarf. And we'll have the same thing at the very end. All right, once you have worked through your cast on stitches, adding your stitch markers, and two rows of knit every stitch, we will begin with the pattern. Now I have already created four repeats on this particular part of the scarf which gives me approximately 10 inches. So now we're gonna begin with row one. 
row one, you're going to knit one, knit two together, knit four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, knit one, pass your stitch marker. All right, we're going to begin the center part of this pattern with knit two. Now we're going to do our repeating stitches, which will repeat a total of two times. Knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to repeat those few stitches again. Knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit five. So one, two, three, four, and five. We now have five remaining stitches before our stitch marker. They go as followed. Knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit two, one and two. Slip your stitch marker when you come to it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and finish the last part of row one. Knit one, knit two together, knit four, one, two, three, and four, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and slip, slip, knit, knit the last stitch. Now for row two, wrong side row, and all wrong side rows, you will simply purl every stitch all the way to the end of the row for your wrong side rows. So just simply purl every stitch. From this point out, I will only be recording front side row, right side row, since all wrong side rows are purl stitches. So go ahead and continue row two, purling every stitch across, and I'll meet up with you for row three. All right, let's begin row three. Row three starts with a knit one, knit two together, Knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, knit one. Yarn over, knit one. Slip, slip, knit. And knit one. Just a quick reminder, I do my slip, slip, knit different than the traditional way of doing it. And on the next slip, slip, knit, I will go slower and show you exactly how I do it. All it is is a left-leaning decrease, and it looks exactly the same. All right. Now we're going to go into the center part of the scarf, and we're going to knit one, knit two together, yarn over, Knit one, yarn over, and this is a slip slip knit my way. So I go in as if to knit the first stitch, move my work 
roll it towards me so I can see the back leg of the second stitch. I pick it up, yarn over, and pull through those two stitches and pop that off. And that gives you that same left leaning decrease as a slip slip knit. Okay, let's move on. We need to knit three. One, two, three and knit two together. Now yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit. Knit three, one, two, three, knit two together. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit one. Slide your stitch marker when you come to it. Knit one, knit two together, knit three, one, two, and three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, slip, slip, knit, and knit the last stitch. That completes row three. For row four, you're gonna purl every stitch. Go ahead and turn your work over, purl all of row four stitches, and I will meet back up with you for row five. Let's begin row five. Row five starts with a knit one. Knit two together. Knit two. Yarn over. Knit one. Yarn over. Knit two. Slip, slip, knit. And knit one. Slip your stitch marker as you come to it. Now for the center here, we start it with a knit two. Now our repeat stitches are as followed. Knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit. Knit five, one, two, three, four, and five going to repeat that again. Knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit five. One, two, three, four, and five. And when you come to the last five stitches here, you're going to knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit the last two, one and two. Slip your stitch marker when you come to it, and let's do the last section. Knit one, knit two together, knit two, one and two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, one and two, Slip, slip, knit. And knit the last stitch. For row six, you're gonna purl every stitch of the row. So go ahead and do that, and I'll meet back up with you for row seven. Let's begin row seven. Row seven begins with knit one, knit two together. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, one, two, and three, slip, slip, knit, knit one, slip,
slide your stitch marker when you come to it. Now from this stitch marker to your next stitch marker for row seven is all knit stitch. So knit every stitch until you get to your next stitch marker. When you come to your last stitch marker, go ahead and pass it. And now let's do the last little part. Knit one, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, one, two, and three, slip, slip, knit, and knit your last stitch. Now go ahead and turn your work over and for row, row eight, purl every stitch. I'll meet back up with you for row nine. All right, let's begin row nine. Row nine begins with knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four, one, two, three, and four, slip, slip, knit, and knit one. Slide your stitch marker when you come to it. Now we're gonna begin the center part of the scarf with knit two. And now your repeat stitches are knit five, one, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, slip, slip, knit. And knit one, I'm gonna repeat those again. Knit one, two, three, four, and five, yarn over, slip, slip, and knit, and knit one. Then knit your last five stitches before your stitch marker. One, two, three, four, and five. Pass your stitch marker, and we'll finish the last 11 stitches. Knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four, one, two, three, and four, slip, slip, knit, and knit the last stitch. Go ahead and turn your work over and purl all stitches for row 10. I'll meet back up with you for row 11. All right, let's begin row 11. Row 11 begins with a knit one, knit two together, Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, one, two, and three, slip, slip, knit, and knit one, pass your stitch marker as you come to it. Now let's begin the center part of the scarf with a knit two. And now we'll work on our repeating stitches. Knit three, one, two, three, 
knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and repeat those. One, two, three, two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit the remaining five stitches of the center part of your scarf. Passing your stitch marker when you come to it. And now let's do the last part of the edging here. Knit one, knit two together, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, two, and three, slip, slip, knit, and knit your last stitch. Turn your work over and purl all stitches for row 12. I'll meet back up with you for row 13. All right, let's begin a row 13 with knit one, knit two together, knit two, one, two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, one, two, slip, slip, knit, and knit one, pass your stitch marker when you come to it. Now for the center part of the scarf, we're going to start with knit two. Now for your repeating stitches, it is knit five, one, two, three, four, and five, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and knit one. We're going to repeat that one more time. Knit five, one, two, three, four, and five, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, knit one, and knit the remaining five stitches before your stitch marker. Passing your stitch marker when you come to it. Now for the last 11 stitches, knit one, knit two together, knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, slip, slip, knit, and knit the last stitch. Now turn your work over, and for row 14, you're going to purl every stitch across. I'll meet back up with you for row 15. All right, let's begin row 15. Row 15 begins with a knit one, knit two together, knit three, one, two, and three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, slip, slip, knit, and knit one. Pass your stitch marker when you come to it. For the center part of your scarf, you're going to knit all stitches to your next stitch marker. This is your last front side row of your repeats.
once you get to your next stitch marker, go ahead and slip it over. And let's do the last 11 stitches. Knit one, knit two together, knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, slip, slip, knit, and knit your last stitch. For row 16 and the final row of your 16 row repeat is purl all stitches. Then you will repeat rounds one through 16 for 17 to 18 repeats, depending on the length of the scarf you so choose. I will continue on with mine for that length and amount of repeats. I will measure mine when I'm done and show you what it looks like. All right, so here it is. It is finished. It is blocked and Nikki is modeling it for us. So here we are. It was one skein wonder. I stopped when I knew I was going to be close to the end. I will measure it for you in just a moment. I did not measure it when I blocked it out because it does draw back a little bit. It isn't 100% wool and it's going to shrink back up and it is going to do a little bit more uh curling than if it was wool. So depending on the yarn that you choose to use will depend on whether or not when you block it out, it stays there or it draws back a little bit. So again, what I used was the Everyday Baby and it was 308 yards. That's what I used and I did use the US 6 millimeter knitting needles, I believe. Let me see. Ooh. I might have used a 7. Yeah, I did. I used a US 7, so scratch that. I used a US 7 with the Everyday Baby 308 yards, and it is a DK, one skein. I did a total of 17 repeats on this scarf. So it can be worn many ways. Uh, as you've seen in the thumbnail, there's three different ways that you can wear it. And it's lightweight. You can make it even lighter weight if you so choose by going down in the yarn size and needle size. Now you will have to do more repeats. It won't be as wide as this unless you add more to the center here. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off of Nikki and we're going to go ahead and measure it. I'm going to say it will be pretty close to 10 inches wide. Let me see here. Without a whole bunch of stretching, actually, we are right on the cusp of 12 inches wide. So now I'm going to do the whole, how long is it? Well, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and pull out about 70. Let's go with 80 inches just to be on the safe side here. And, oh, geez. We're not 80 inches long, but we are just shy of 70 inches. We are actually at 68 inches. So that was one skein. So of course you can continue to go as much as you so choose and do as many repeats as you desire. But that is the final outcome of the scarf. And I love this color, you know, cause it is green, <laughs> but here we go. 
So again, you can wear it many, many different ways, just as a light over the shoulder. If you're wearing like a sundress, um, got it twisted here. There we go. If you're wearing a sundress and you just want to cover your shoulders a little bit, you want to add a little pop of color and there's fiber floating in here, um, <laughs> a little pop of color to your wardrobe or just a dress up. As I said, maybe you went on the beach and you want to go out for a little dinner, you're in a sundress or something, and you just want something to dress it up a little bit more for going out to dinner. So that's what this is great for. And if you do make this particular scarf or any of the patterns that I've put out, or you make pattern, you know, make patterns of your own. I would love to see your work. You can share them with me in a private email. You can also share them on our Facebook group. You can tag me on Instagram, however you choose. I would love to see your work. And uh, if you share it on the Friday post where in the Facebook group, or you send it to me on Friday or early Saturday, I will add it in to the Sunday slideshow for our podcast. So thank you, each and every one of you, for being a part of this channel and working up different patterns that I have put together for you, whether it be knitting, tatting, crocheting, weaving, I appreciate each and every one of you for coming and joining me on my YouTube adventures. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So that is it for me this time. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now, y'all.